hands and make her dance. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella and I'm glad that you're here today. Well, first of all, I'm back after a little three month break. I'm back um, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of a try on haul, we're going to be talking about what's in my gym bag um, and I'm going to do a review of this one in particular. So if you're interested in seeing what I take to the gym with me every day um, or learning more about this bag, of course, keep on watching. All right, so first let's talk about the bag. So the bag I use is the Calpac Luca Duffel. So from the Calpac brand, um, they also in this line have a fanny pack and a backpack. So if a bag like a duffel is not your thing they also have some other options for you as well um, just off top I want to say I love this bag I love it so much that I bought it in another color um, I just got the black in today or yesterday um, which is what the color I originally wanted so but it was out of stock so yes if I had to just put a, give a 10 second review, I'd say it's so good that I bought it in two colors. So yeah. So this is the one that I'm currently using. It's got two straps like this that you can use or a long um, adjustable shoulder strap. And then it's got a big pocket on the front, a little side pocket here, um, a shoe pocket, which is pretty cool. And then here it's got a little panel so you can slide it over your luggage since it's also, um, since it's a duffel. So it could be used for the gym, it could be used for travel, whatever you want. So yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it. So let's just get right into what's in it. First, there's this front zipper pocket. And in here, I keep my bands. So. First band, I have bands I make her dance. Bands I make her dance. This is a band that'll make your ass burn, okay? This is my Beanick Fit. Shout out to Brie Nicole, she is my trainer. Um, and this is her brand. This is her lower body band. Um, so I use this above the knees uh, for glute activation and during my glute workouts. Um, but it's really good for activation before. Um, you can use it doing squats, leg abductions, fire hydrants, donkey kicks, lateral walks. It's really good um, for your lower body workout. So I always, always, always take this with me because I use it every single leg day. The other band that I have is also by Brie Nicole. And this is a long loop band. So this is a rubber um, resistance band um, that I use a lot in leg and upper body days. It can be used for leg extensions, kickbacks, tricep pull downs, all sorts of things. So um, this is really important for me as well. I do a lot of weight training and resistance training in my workouts um, that are programmed by Bria. So this uh, is essential for me. These are a must. I keep them in that front pocket because I use it a lot during my warm up. So it's easily accessible to me. And then I usually put my keys and my wallet in that side pocket. Moving into, moving on <laughs> to what's on the inside. So um, this bag is very, very roomy. Okay, and there's lots of space and lots of different compartments. There's another large zipper compartment on one side, um, then a smaller one on the other. And then there's two pouches in front of the zipper pouch and then a, zip, a little pouch on the side as well. So there's lots and lots of space. Um, and you can kind of organize your stuff because I know sometimes when bags are kind of soft and roomy, it's hard to find what you're looking for, but there's lots of um, little compartments for your things. So getting into the first little zipper pouch, that's where I keep all my hygiene stuff. Um, first thing being some feminine body wipes. So these are by the Honey Pot. They are the sensitive wipes for intimate parts and body and face. 
I really like these because like I said they are sensitive um, or for sensitive skin they don't have a lot of ingredients um, they're black woman owned and they're made and distributed in Atlanta so cannot beat that so honey pot wipes for you know if you're working out and then you've got to go run errands or something like that it's nice to just be able to freshen up before you know you go back out in the world Next, I have some facial wipes. These are the Dickinson's Witch Hazel Hydrating Cloths, alcohol free. Um, I don't have anything in particular about this brand that I like. Uh, I just like having some kind of wipe to wipe my face after my workout, um, especially if I'm not going straight home because I just don't want to let all that sweat kind of settle on my face. So I keep these with me. And then lastly, we have deodorant just because you never know. Sometimes you might roll out of bed for a workout and you just forget, so it's nice to have it close by, just in case. So that's all I have in that um, pocket. And then in the zipper pocket on the other side is where I keep my AirPods. Now, y'all know, these are a must. I am somebody that needs music to work out and if I don't like what they're playing, I'm going you know, to be irritated. So I bring these with me. They're the AirPod Pros. Um, I was using the regular AirPods, but uh, my boyfriend got me these because I was complaining that the regular AirPods, they get really sweaty and they're not sweat proof. So I was worried that they were going to like short out one day. <laughs> so I do like these a lot better. My only complaint with these is that, you know, they have the little squishy buds that you can change out based on your ear shape. I have them on the smallest buds, but they stay in my right ear with no problem. But sometimes when I'm running, it comes out of my left. So I'm not really sure what to do about that since I have the smallest one on there. Um, but otherwise, the noise, the, but otherwise, the noise canceling is fabulous on these. I can put these in my ears and completely zone out. So got to have these. And if I get in the gym and they're not charged, I'm going back to the car and let them charge. So definitely a must. So now in the big compartment um, is where I keep everything else. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is something that I bring in hopes that I'll use them, but I don't. <laughs> and these are weightlifting gloves. So I bought these because I noticed that my hands were kind of getting calloused right there between, in like my middle finger, um, right in the center of my hands, which I don't really mind the calluses but when they start to like rip that's when it's a problem so I bought these at TJ Maxx don't even know the brand but I'm not gonna lie I took the tag off for this video so I don't really use them um I need to so I bring them but I don't know I just don't but I keep them there for if I ever decide that I should do what I'm supposed to do <laughs> next I just have a little hand towel you know get sweaty want to wipe off nothing special next is my favorite thing um, and probably very unnecessary but whatever and uh, they are my barbell clips so I do a lot of squats split squats lunges rows a lot of different things that involve the barbell um, and my gym, of course, has clips, but they don't have green ones. <laughs> and also, um, a lot of times the clips are kind of just all over the place in the gym. So I like having my own, so I don't have to go search for some. I don't have to search for ones that are in good condition. I just have them in my bag. Um, and I really like these because you don't have to squeeze them or anything like that. You just open, put it on your barbell, and click, and that's it. Um, I also like that they're green because I know that they're mine um, and yeah like I said not necessary but it saves me some time in the gym which makes it worth it to me in dollars so I will put a link to these below too but yeah unnecessary but I love it and that's all that matters <laughs> all right we've got a couple more things in here um, next up, now I don't carry all of these with me at all times, but these are the options. And that is pre-workout. So let's talk about one at a time. 
First one here is my Oxy Shred. This is by EHP Labs. Um, mine is in the flavor Lychee Daiquiri, which unfortunately is a limited edition flavor. I love this and I would repurchase it over and over again, but they don't sell it anymore. Um, Oxy Shred is not technically a pre-workout. It is a fat burner. Um, so it will give you energy, but it doesn't give you that huge burst of energy that a typical pre-workout would. So yeah, you can take this in the morning, even if you're not planning on working out. Um, it even suggests that you take it in the morning and then you also take it before your workout. So this will just give you a little extra energy, but it's not, if you're really dragging, this isn't the one for you. But love the taste, um, love that kind of steady energy that it gives me and it's also supposed to help with um, immune support and a mood enhancer. So yes, that is the Oxy Shred by EHP Labs. Um, if you're really sensitive to stimulants, they have a non-stimulant version as well. Another product also by EHP Labs is Pride. So this is the actual pre-workout. Um, it's called the king of pre-workouts. So its key selling points are focus, pump, energy, and recovery. So this is a strong pre-workout. Um, I have the blue slushy flavor. I'm not gonna lie, this is nasty. I don't like it. I've had it once and I was like, it's like, ugh, it's like a cloudy color. It don't taste, I don't know. It just doesn't taste good, but it did give me energy. So I could stomach it um, for the fact that it does give me a lot of energy, but this is a big container uh, and I don't reach for it, but it does work. So yeah. So again, EHP Labs Pride. Now, a pre-workout that I do really like the taste of, this is gonna be the Alani New. So this is the Alani New in Galaxy Lemonade. I've tried several different flavors from Alani New. They're really sweet, um, but this one, the Galaxy Lemonade is not super sweet, so I like it the most. Um, and this is a true pre-workout, and this is gonna give you that true, oh my God, I just drank pre-workout. I gotta go burn this energy, I'm itchy feeling. Like, this is a true pre-workout. And I like this, um, I like this a lot. So if I had to pick a pre-workout, I would choose the Alani New over the Pride. So yeah, very good. And last but not least, probably the most important thing that you're gonna need uh, for a workout is your water. So this is a Hydro Flask. It is a half gallon bottle. I love it. I love it so much. Um, I bring this to the gym, I bring it to work. Um, I'm a nurse and so sometimes we get so busy that we forget to hydrate. So having this with me um, is really helpful because I know if I drink one of these, then I've drank enough water um, for my shift. I'm not somebody that tries to drink a gallon of water. Half a gallon is like, what? A little over a liter and a half and that's enough for me. I really like this bottle in particular. It's glass and it has a silicone sleeve that can be removed. Um, and I really like the spout or whatever you call it, what you drink from. So it's just a little hole so you can just drink without having to tip the bottle up, which is nice for me. Um, at the gym, I can just drink, I don't have to do this. And then at work while I'm charting, I just, you know, so. I really like this. Um, the straw comes off. It's really hard to open though. That's what I was gonna say. Really hard to open. Um, but the straw detaches um, so you can wash it really good. So my only con is that it's hard to open um, if you screw the lid on. But I screw it on tight because I'm putting it in my bag. So, but yes, this is the hydro jug. And I think that's it. So yeah, that's everything that I bring with me to the gym. I don't use every single thing every single day, but those are the basics that I like to have with me no matter the workout. So um, let me know if there's anything else that you guys bring to the gym uh, that you think is essential or if you're more of like a keys, phone, 
water headphones type of person um, let me know so thank you so much uh, for tuning in to this video I hope you enjoyed it um, I really appreciate the support that I've been getting even though I haven't been posting um, I've still been getting views on my videos and some subscribers so I really appreciate that um, if you haven't subscribed or haven't checked out my videos please do so let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see and of course thank you thank you thank you for watching Wow.